she ain't got no money in the bank. What is going on guys, Jack here and I'm back with yet another episode of FIFA Confirmed and Potential Transfers and today we are kicking off the episode here with Arsenal goalkeeper Wojciech Szczesny and it's apparently a two year loan deal agreed with Roman with an option to buy at the end of it. Now I'm hearing multiple reports here, obviously Wojciech Szczesny is not going to get a lot of game time due to Peter Cech joining the club and being obviously the team's new first team goalkeeper, but Arsenal fans, would you be happy to see Szczesny leave or would you like to see him as the backup goalkeeper or do you think he's too good to be a backup goalkeeper? Let me know in the comment section down below where it looks like he could be on his way to Roma. Next player we do have here is another Arsenal player, and this one is Flamini. Apparently, around about a 4.7 or 5 million euro deal has been accepted from Arsenal to see Flamini go to Galatasaray. I'll let you in on a little interesting um, fact here. Matthew Flamini has never received a transfer fee for him in his whole football career. He's always gone to the teams on a free. So this would be the first fee available um, for Fl Flamini in in basically the end of his career. It's absolutely incredible to think he's been uh, available for freeze for most of his transfers. Next one we do here, have here is a, one that happened last week, but I thought I'd add it in here, is Eunice Cabal, a player that obviously did not have a good time at Tottenham in his last few seasons. It uh, looked very accident prone and just looked like an absolute calamity at times. He has joined Sunderland. Wish him all the best there, but you know, he's not a good defender in, in recent seasons, I have to say. And if Sunderland can get him back to a little bit of form, he could be a good buy for them. Next player we do have here is Britos of Napoli. He could be on his way to Watford. And Watford guys have really, really impressed me this season with their transfer buyers. They have got some incredible talent in. They've got a lot of BPL quality. Um, from Obviously, they have former BPL quality. And I can see them doing really well this season. I think they're going to finish um, clear of the relegation zone, in all honesty. Watford have definitely really shown real intent this season. Next one we do have here is Julian Draxler. Apparently, Juve and Schalke... Have, um, well, Juve have actually activated his release calls and Draxler, Draxler may be in talks with the Italian Giants. Would it be a good move for him? I think it would be. You know, he'd be getting first team football. You've seen what they've done to Paul Pogba. Imagine Paul Pogba and Julian Draxler in the same team. It would just be incredible to see them two young talents playing together week in and week out. And I, if anyone can obviously progress him even further into being an awesome player, it probably would be Juve. They're great academy system, they're great coaches, and you, know, you have to look at Paul Pogba to see what they can do to a player. Next one we do have here is Jao Moutinho. Apparently, he could be on his way to Arsenal. They are very interested in bringing him into the club. I think they've got already too many certain midfielders, but this one is just a report. And I can't, don't really see it happening, in all honesty. I probably will see Jao Moutinho probably go to Atletico Madrid or something like that. I can see him going, or even staying at Monaco. But I can't see this one happening, in all honesty. Next one we do have is Kevin Morales. West Ham have had a £6 million bid rejected by Everton and have readied a second bid ready for the Belgians. Um... Well, obviously for his services. He did actually play at St. Etienne with Dimitri Payet, and that may be a big part of him going there uh, to West Ham. I'd be very happy if this deal would go down, but, you know, you never know. West Ham have been very active in the transfer market, obviously conform confirming the signing of Laz Lazzini, the Argentine centre attack midfielder. Um, he looks very good, but Kevin Morales would be even better if he can get him into the club. Next one we've got here is Ricardo Quaresma. He has joined Turkish giants Besiktas, and I think it's a good move for him. I love Besiktas as a club, and uh, obviously um, I like Quaresma. He's a good signing for them, and hopefully he can push on this season. Hopefully Besiktas can maybe go one better than they did last season and win the Turkish Super League. Next one we do have is Patrick Bamford. He has joined Crystal Palace on loan from Chelsea. Obviously he's not going back to Middlesbrough, but... Hopefully he has a good season here. This is his chance to prove that he has what it takes to play in the Parkview's Premier League. A step up from the Championship may be good for him. And Chelsea have signed him on to a new deal to 2018 also before sending him out on loan. Next one we do have here is a big one. Zlatan Ibrahimovic could be on his way to Manchester United as the mystery striker that Louis van Gaal is after. Would you be happy to see Zlatan in the Parkview's Premier League? I would, but I don't know if he would be interested. We have to wait and see. Next one we do have is Fernando Lorente, and apparently Rafa Benitez is interested in bringing him in in a striker role, but obviously Benzema is linked with a move away, but would you be happy, Real Madrid fans, to see Lorente come in for Karim Benzema as his replacement? I'm not too sure on that one. He had a good last, good season last season, but is he up to Benzema's quality? I'm not too sure. Next one we do have here is a confirmed transfer from Undonese. Is Alan on his way to Napoli? A good, solid centre defensive midfielder, and obviously not not big in the changes of ultimate team wise, but a good equation and a good 
uh, added to play, to play to the squad for Napoli. Sorry. And next one we do have here is Romero. Apparently, he has agreed terms to be joining Manchester United, and this one should be done very soon. Obviously, it looks like David De Gea could be on his way out. I'm not sure if this guy will be their first team goalkeeper. I, I highly doubt it. Victor Valles looks like on his way out also, but we have to wait and see. Romero could be on his way to Manchester United. But guys, that is a bring into this episode. If you did enjoy the video, as always, make sure to do smash that like button. I'd really, really appreciate it. And also, if you are new around here, then why not hit that subscribe button too? It would mean the world to me. It only takes a couple of seconds out of your day. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. I hope you all have a really nice one. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.